Hey everyone, Couch Investor here with another video for you. Today we're gonna talk about the Disney stock. Um, we all know Disney from our childhood, uh, the theme parks, the movies, Mickey Mouse, Walt Disney himself. But Disney stock is a very uh, structured stock. Um, it has lots of components in it. Um, Disney has, let's see, Marvel, ESPN, Pixar, ABC, Lucasfilm. They recently acquired Fox and obviously the theme parks, which make um, the biggest chunk of uh, revenue for them. Some might say, I think so. Um, now, as of now, the stock price is at around $138, $39, give or take a dollar. Um, one year ago, it was fluctuating between the $100 and the $120. So why, why the, it did the stock uh, rise? Because they released the Disney Plus streaming platform. Um, obviously, since then, all the Marvel and the Disney movies from Netflix were removed and they moved to the Disney Plus platform. Um, now, the stock itself is a is a growth stock. Um, a lot of the stocks that I would talk about will be growth stocks because I think those are crucial to uh, to a good portfolio and a long-term portfolio. Uh, the Disney stock gives you uh, 88 cents dividends, quarterly dividends, which is pretty, pretty good. It's around 1.28%, I would, I think. It's not a lot, but it's still, it's uh, 88 cents, it's not, uh, it's more than Apple. Apple stock is around 300 and something and you only get 77 cents quarterly dividend. So I would say dividend, uh, Disney is a good stock um, dividend wise. Now let's talk a bit about the revenue. Um, in 2017, 2018, the revenue wasn't that great, but then 2019 revenue grew to 19%. And in 2020, so this year, uh, the projected revenue will be 17%. It's less than last year, but it's still a big uh, a big amount of uh, growth and revenue for a company like Disney. And I think for any company to have a 17% uh, revenue growth in one year, pretty good. Now, so why, why would uh, the stock continue to grow? Now, side note, the stock grew to around almost $150, but now had a little, a little dip because of the coronavirus. We continue the same trend, coronavirus again, um, because the theme park in Shanghai, Disney, Disneyland in Shanghai, uh, is closed um, because of fears of the coronavirus. Now, it could affect this year growth. As I said, 17% could become maybe 16% or 15%, I don't know. Um, now, why for the future it could not have such a big impact because they have brands like Marvel, Lucasfilm, uh, movies like uh, The Lion King, Frozen, uh, now the, the new action uh, action films like, like Mulan, um, The Lion King that they remade, The Jungle Book, Beauty and the Beast, etc. I'm sure that they'll remake tons of, of Disney movies and the Disney Plus platform. Now, the Disney Plus platform for the, in the first day had around, I would say, 10 million subscribers for first day launch. I think it was a huge success. Now, I know it's still only available in only in a couple of selected countries in the world, but during 2020, I think it would be available to a more European countries, um, maybe also in Asia. I don't. I don't know why not. I wouldn't. I think if if Europe would get the stream, I think Asia should get it as well. Now, currently, they have between twenty and thirty million, more like twenty-five to thirty million subscribers, and they their goal is uh, to have around sixty to ninety million subscribers by twenty twenty-four. Now, I think they'll have that for sure. Um, even before, even before 2024, they will they will get that that target because now they're releasing tons and tons and tons of new content like WandaVision, 
um, the Falcon Winter Soldier, Captain America Winter Soldier, um, Loki, um, the Mandalorian, and ton, tons, tons of new content that they are creating, Marvel films, uh, Disney movies, you name it, and it's cheap. It's only $6.99 per month or $69.99 per year, so you're saving around, I don't know, 10 bucks or something if you take the yearly uh, subscription. Now, I don't own a Disney stock, but if you would ask me would I buy, I would, but maybe I would wait, I would wait a little bit to see, to see what happens with the situation, because there was a, still a bit of a decline uh, lately, and maybe we could get it a bit cheaper. I would say maybe around the 130s would be a good price to get in. Um, yeah, and that's it. Um, if you're wondering what's that flashy hoodie I'm wearing, um, it's the Mr. Beast. Um, shout out to Mr. Beast. This is not a sponsored video, although I wish Mr. Beast would sponsor uh, my videos. Um, but no, go check it out. Go check out his new, his new merchandise. I will link it in the description below. Um, it's really an awesome, awesome shirt. It's from, from Mr. Beast, but it's written in a Dragon Ball Z uh, font. And yeah, um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.